Exploring the world, understanding the phrase, be a globetrotter. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're going to dive into an interesting English phrase, be a globetrotter. This phrase is not just about traveling, but it's packed with cultural and historical nuances. Whether you're an English language learner or just curious about English idioms, you're in the right place. Let's embark on this linguistic journey together. The phrase, be a globetrotter, refers to someone who travels frequently and to many different countries. The key components of this phrase are globe, meaning the world, and trotter, an old-fashioned term for a traveler. Essentially, a globetrotter is a world traveler, someone who explores various cultures, countries, and experiences around the globe. The term globetrotter has been around since the late 19th century. It gained popularity as international travel became more accessible. Over time, it has come to symbolize a sense of adventure and cultural curiosity. Today, saying someone is a globetrotter often implies admiration for their adventurous spirit and their experiences in exploring diverse cultures and places. To help you understand better, let's see how this phrase is used in sentences. 1. After retiring, my grandparents decided to be globetrotters, traveling from one country to another. 2. She has a real globetrotter's spirit, always eager to explore new places. 3. His Instagram is full of photos from different countries. He's quite the globetrotter. Being a globetrotter is often seen as a desirable trait in many cultures. It's associated with open-mindedness, flexibility, and a thirst for knowledge. In literature and media, globetrotters are often portrayed as heroes or fascinating characters due to their extensive experiences and adventures. And that's a wrap on, Be a Globetrotter. We hope this video has enlightened you about this intriguing phrase and inspired you to perhaps become a globetrotter yourself. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the stories and cultures they represent. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in our next linguistic adventure.